Is that on? Brilliant, okay. Uh, hi, I'm Matt. You've joined us in the uh, Framer Amsterdam office. Today, we're gonna to be looking at some exciting new features for people who wanna make documentation websites. As you might have noticed, I am uh, stood in front of a DJ booth, but when you consider that Deliveroo have a basketball court on their fifth floor office, this looks a little less ridiculous. So uh, with that said, let's go and see some features. Okay, so first of all, let's take a quick look at the Frame CMS. It's a game changer for creating docs. It's like the foundation of all your documentation, whether it's managing specs, API references, wikis or guides. Framers CMS keeps everything organized. And for me, the nicest thing about Framers CMS is that when you make a, a change, you can hit the publish button and those changes are gonna be online within seconds. Compared to other CMSs, that's so quick and efficient. It's just nice to be able to make a change and then see that reflected instantly on the website. Okay, so right now we're with Hunter. He's a product lead and he's gonna be showing us some exciting features in Framer that are gonna help you create documentation sites. We're gonna be looking at code blocks and search. So Hunter, what have you got to show? Thank you, Matt. Yeah, so we released two uh, really big features recently, one being code blocks and inline code for like the code documentation workflows. Um, and then just a bit before that was site search for Framer. Um, ones that we're really proud of and work towards this kind of uh, documentation use case that we've been focusing on recently to allow people to uh, put their documentation sites in Framer. Imagine that I'm the author of a popular open source motion library and I don't know much about Framer. Uh, let's just let's just really imagine, think think hard. Um, what? How? Show me the workflow. Like, what? How would I incorporate um, some code blocks and and code highlighting into my into my website? So you can do everything you'd expect on like a React.dev, but without code in a visual UI tool, and everything's included. It's. Uh, it's kind of the batteries included experience and everything just kind of works out of the box. You don't have to fuss with like a different CMS and then the front end somewhere else. It's all just kind of together. So you can design your front page, you can sell the feature, you can do all the, the front pagey things, but then you also can get into the docs and deep into the content and use the CMS editor to get all that stuff done. So I think one of the biggest benefits is that it's just kind of, it's all there um, in, one, in one spot. So if I was to add a, a, a documentation page and I wanted to add some, like a, a, a code example, how would I go about that? With both these features, we really focus on that initial experience being super easy and you can just ship it right away if you want it. But then you have that control later down the line if that's what you want. So everything takes like a second to set up. We open the get started page, for instance. All we have to do is go to the CMS editor, the new line here, and hit the code block button. And I have some code ready to go here that I can just paste in. And that's essentially it. You can be done now. And I think what's really special that you don't get on a lot of other tools is say that's my entire docs and I just added this little code blocks, I can just hit publish and uh, the changes are now live and now that's live on the site say someone was asking for some better docs like the the workflow is like so fast and it's all optimized behind the scenes and it's uh publishes instantly and you get all those benefits of framework but in your documentation workflow as well as the designer of the website i can go here and i have full customization options of the code block and we even have stuff like auto theme switching so if we go to dark mode Oh, wow. Light mode, the code blocks switch right away. You'll notice the colors, the inline code switch right away. I'm just going to stop you there because uh, I have a very important announcement. The lunch order is open. So additionally, you wanted to show us the search functionality. For search and framer, we wanted to focus on just making the easiest experience for that initial ad of search. Because we looked at the competition, uh, we looked at other searching solutions, just so much config and we just we knew there was an opportunity to not have that because of the end-to-end -end, uh integration that we have with framer where we have con we have the content in framer we have the build process in framer and it's all encapsulated so we knew we had an opportunity to to simplify the whole thing and get the config out of the way and still provide a really good experience so i will show you how long it takes to add search to your site we go here to the insert menu 
we go down to interactive, we grab search, and we insert it. And that's it. That That is, if we wanted to, to leave it here, now we have search on our site. So I can show you how that works. We hit publish. And we wait for this optimization process to end because this is where uh, we're going through each page while we're building and optimizing your site. We're actually grabbing each piece of content and indexing it. And it's all multi-threaded if you want to get into the, the weeds of it. So it will scale quite nicely, even with our larger sites. So like framer.com uses this and it added very little time to the, the total optimization process. So let's take a look at the published site. So everything is super fast. You'll notice we can go in here, we can go uh, property controls and everything is built in. All your pages show up, you have keyboard navigation. I can select property controls, I can hit enter. So the focus was everything's super fast and no config by default. It's just, it's super easy to insert. And if you wanna dig into the weeds, you can customize it with the animations I showed you, the custom fonts, uh, but you don't need to. It just, it just works out of the box. So we we're, we're super happy about how this one turned out. Great, I'm super excited to use CodeBlux and Search. Uh, they both look fantastic. Thank you very much for showing us those those features. Lunch is almost here, so uh, we'll, I'll see you over a burrito shortly. Sounds good, Matt. Thanks for thanks for letting me talk through these things. Uh, I, I hope everyone got an inside peek at how we think about these features and uh, why we're uh, we're happy about the, how they turned out. I couldn't have done it without the team figuring out these super hairy problems. Um, that I would have no idea how to solve. And they just did it, which is, is mind blowing because I think they both these features feel great. Um, and I'm really impressed with what they've managed to, to pull off here because I love using these features. And that, that was the goal is uh, that we'd all be able to love using them because they're so simple and so customizable. Um, and I think that's a really hard thing to balance. I want to give a shout out to the, the people who have made documentation templates so far. I see there there's a few of them flying in that are super high quality and uh, it's great to see how people are, are pushing these features to, to their limits, which is super exciting. So. so in that chat with Hunter just now, he mentioned that many of our users are already using our new search and code blocks features to make documentation templates. We've got a ton of responsive documentation templates that you can use to kickstart your new documentation website. It's especially great for bigger sites, aiming for a cohesive look, and it's super time saving. We've got free and paid templates. They give a consistent structure to your website, saving you time and effort. The nice thing about using a template is that everything's styled coherently, so you can just add pages or sections, and you know that they're all gonna fit in with the rest of your website. <sighs> My word, that was some exciting stuff. It's not the last you're gonna see from us. Uh, we'll be doing plenty more videos about more exciting features over the weeks to come. So until then, stay breezy. <laughs> God! You know, on a personal note, Spent a lot of time in jail. Man, I didn't have much to do. All I did was dream that one day someone would finally crack documentation websites and by golly, they've done it. Thank you, Hunter, and the rest of the team. Um, <laughs> no, let me do that again.